Welcome everyone. I will get started here in just a little bit. I'm waiting for my other panelists to join us. We're just going live on Facebook. So uh, I welcome you if you're joining us on Facebook. And uh, Happy New Year. Uh, Happy New Year. I think it's going to be a great year. I was on the uh, corporate call about an hour ago, about two hours ago, um, with Liesl and Tom Jr. joined us. And um, he was talking about the, the weight loss. And then they were talking about the, uh, the uh, contest that we have going on right now with involving the weight loss. So uh, anyhow, I, I, I think it's I think it's going to be pretty exciting uh, getting started with the uh, with the uh, new year. I've already lost um, about seven pounds total. Uh, so that's two pounds a day, uh, half a pound a day, sorry, half a pound a day. And I know I can't continue that. Here's the deal. When you're looking at weight loss, and I know Katie is going to be talking about weight loss on the call tonight. When you're looking at weight loss, um, you know, you, you're going to lose a lot right away in the beginning because there's a lot of water weight. And, you know, if you gain some back, if you lose four and you gain back two um, over a two day period of time, you didn't gain back fat. You know, I think some people get all worried about that. You're not going to, you're not going to gain back fat. You're gaining back water weight. So um, I weigh myself daily. The program that I'm on Carmel, I know that you're uh you're using the new app as well, N-O-O-M, um, with this app, you know, they basically tell us that, that, that yeah, you're, you're going to be, depending on what you eat, uh, salt, temperature, inflammation, all these different things are going to affect uh, your, uh, they're going to affect your, your weight loss. So, so I weigh myself daily, and, and some days it fluctuates uh, earlier this week. Uh, I gained back two pounds, but then the next day I was down three. And uh, so, yeah. Hey, Katie, I'm going to move you over to the panel. We'll get started. For those of you that are uh, just joining us in the, uh, in the Facebook page, welcome to the call. And uh, Katie, thanks for uh, being here tonight. And I know you're going to be talking about weight loss. And, yeah. uh, and, uh, so that's, uh, that's a, that's a good topic this time of year up here in the United States and Canada. Um, you know, everybody's interested in losing weight because in, uh, uh, five months we'll be at summer again and, uh, we'll have three months of summer and then we'll be back into winter again. Yeah. Well, and <laughs> you know, we're at the opposite season. So we're in summer now and people have finished their Christmas festive season and they're New Year's parties and you know often there's those few extra pounds people want to lose and so now's a perfect time to get stuck into it and you know get yourself back on track. That's right that's right so on the on the corporate call tonight I know you couldn't make it there but on the corporate call tonight with uh, Tom Jr. he was talking about the, 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 the products that we have and and some of the contests that we have going on so. Yeah fantastic. Yeah so I'm uh, looking for Rennie to join us, but I don't see her on the call. So I think we'll just get started, Katie. And, uh, you know, here's the thing. Right now, our economy is really, whether, whether it's being stifled by, by people for whatever reason, or maybe it's just, you know, there's other things going on that beyond our control, beyond anybody's control. But the bottom line is uh, people... Um, People need to be making money. Yeah, definitely. You know, and uh, people need to be making extra money. And, and, and my thought is, is that, you know, you don't want to just make enough money to live on, Katie, right? I mean, wouldn't you say, based on what you've seen, the years of experience that you've had, wouldn't you say that that's a good thing to make enough money so you can put some away for that rainy day? Definitely. You want some extra money in reserve, so... If you have an emergency or you need some extra cash for something, you want that money there. But also for your, you know, retirement, for living in your later years. So, you know, and it's about kind of forward thinking that situation. And, and I think we talked about last week, Dr. Kurt, about, you know, multiple streams of income. 
And, you know, I think I mentioned, you know, if you could get, you know, even if it was like 500,000 from one stream of income and create a few of them, then you've got multiple sources as well. So I think thinking about your future, thinking about ways to earn that extra income is really important, particularly in today's day and age. That's right. And, you know, and and last week you made an important uh, uh, point that, you know, I've thought about it. I've thought about it. And, and, and really, you know, when, when people talk about multiple streams of income, I think that a lot of times they don't quite get what you're talking about. When you're talking about multiple streams of income, I mean, you're talking about, you could be making 500 over here, a thousand over here, 2,500 over here. Yep. Um, you know, you don't have to be making 10,000 no. at each one, right? No, absolutely not. And, they all add up. And the whole thing is that it's easy to get your head around. Like, you know, Kurt, you're talking about, you know, generating that extra thousand a month uh, with sizzle. And if that's too much for people to imagine, then, you know, imagine 500, that's, that's half that then. And that's even more achievable. So if you were earning 500 from multiple sources, then, you know, that could add up to an income and that way, you know, it's just a really good idea because if one, if something happens to one, you've got the others and it's easier to build up. And it's just a great way to go about it, I think, Kurt. Um, hang on one second. I just got text Katie or uh, uh, Rennie back. Sure. Yeah. So, um, you know, and I'd heard that, and I mentioned that earlier on the previous call about a young guy who that's how he became really wealthy is that he set up these multiple streams of income through different sort of businesses. And he said his initial goal with all of them was 500 a month. 500 and- a month. Yeah, and then he would build on that. So you bet. I think I think that's a really great idea, and uh, it is achievable. It's not it's kind of pie in the sky stuff, and go, oh, oh, gee, I couldn't do that. So, Kurt, you want to talk about to people today about how they could earn that money with Sizzle? You bet. So, you know, first of all, uh, if if you go out and get a job, you know, I mean, think about it. If you go out and get a second job, maybe a third job, depending on how many jobs you already have. But if you go out there and and let's just say, you know, well, what's what's the what's that what's the uh, an average salary say down in Australia, Katie? Um, I think an average salary, what for the average person? Well, there's the lower income, and then there's the average. I think the average probably like eighty thousand a year would might be the average. Okay, well, no, no, per hour. Like if somebody goes oh. out and gets gets a part time job, you know. Um, we're doing whatever, but it's part-time. It's not their main income. It's not what they they went to college for. It's not what they educated in. It's it's just, they're trying to pick up a little extra money on the Probably side. Probably $30. $30 might be, depending on what type of job it is, you know, if it's skilled or not. But let's just say $30. Wow. So you're telling me that if I went and got a job working at a service station pumping gas, they'd pay me $30 an hour. I actually probably be less than that. I'm not sure what they, they no, the service station would pay you the minimum wage. And I, not sure what well, with the minimum wage, but it's um, probably it might even be a bit less than that, Kurt. Okay, would you? So you're, but you're saying it's it's over twenty. Yeah, it's over twenty for sure. Yeah. Okay, let's just use thirty. Let's just okay. say that that even in the United States and Canada or whatever it is, um, Australia, New Zealand, um, New Mexico, whatever country you're in, uh, you go out and and you get a job and they're paying you thirty dollars an hour. Okay. Yep. Um, so $30 an hour as a massage therapist. So there's a skilled labor. She's getting that. This is what Carmel's saying. Her daughter is working as a massage therapist in Australia, getting $30 an hour. And okay. so, um, I'm going to move Rennie over to the panel here and, uh, she made it onto the call. So just here, why are you talking about that? It says that, uh, the national minimum wage for adults not covered by an award, um, is a 20, basically 1984 an hour. So 20. But casuals get another 25 on that. So 25. So yeah, so we're looking between, you know, 25 and 30 an hour. Okay. Well, let's just use 30 because you brought that up. Hey, Rennie, welcome to the call. Glad you can thank make you, it from Canada. You. Canada, eh? Yeah, it was a long walk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so we're just talking about, you know, um, if somebody was going to try and make an extra thousand dollars a month going out and getting a part-time job and less i mean we're just saying that this part-time job pays thirty dollars an hour which um here in in fargo that's ridiculous nobody's going to pay you thirty dollars an hour as a part-time job but you know 
I'm just going to go with it because Katie, Katie used that as her number. And I, I want to be, I want to be, you know, realistic with people, but I partially want to be uh, skeptical as well. So $30 an hour. So if you're getting paid $30 an hour and, and Rennie, how many hours a week would you say you're working? If you've got a real part-time job, you're just trying to pick up some extra play money. Well, even still at, at play money and, and part-time, you think a 40 hour week here. Oh, you're not going to, you're not going to work 40, 40, 40 hours a week for 40. a part-time job. No, 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 that's, that's full-time considered full-time. So if that's, yeah. even if you're working 20 hours here at 15, 25, 21 an hour, you know, working full-time, you're only going to make 2,500 a month and then dock off all the, the government share and everything else. Gosh, you know, yeah. I'm rather. Well, here, I'm just, I'm just trying to put together some some so quick math for people. So, yeah. I mean, let's just say that somebody picks up a part-time job. They're already working eight hours a, a, a day, five days a week. So they're working, yeah. they're working their 40 hour a week and they go out and they pick up part-time job. Maybe they're working the weekend. So let's say that, that they're working on the weekend and they put in eight hours a day, Saturday and Sunday, besides working eight hours. So they're working eight hours, seven hours a week. So that's an extra 16 hours a week that they're working. Let's just say that they are getting paid uh, $30 an hour. So they're going to be making roughly, um, uh, uh, they're going to be making 490, uh, uh, 480. 480 a month, a week. Yeah, a week. Okay, so 480 a week. And they're going to do that. Uh, they're going to do that for for a month. There you go. So if you're getting paid 30, if you and, and you take your deductions from the government taxes, things like yeah. that. And so you're working, you're working seven days a week, you know, extra eight hours a day, Saturday and Sunday, you're getting paid $30 an hour, which is ridiculous. You're not going to get paid that um, there. That's what you need to do to be the equivalent of what I'm going to talk about now for the next uh, five or six minutes. But, you know, Kurt, would you be saying like with that, with the job situation, so they'd be working uh, their full-time job plus an additional part-time job of 16 hours a week to get another 480. So basically you're working all the time. You're working all the time. You don't have any time off. You're getting up. You you you're eating, sleeping, going to work. Eating, sleeping, going to work seven right. days a week. Yeah. And 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 you're getting a paid a unicorn. Uh, I'm going to call it a unicorn salary because it's about a, it's about as uh, real as a unicorn. You're not going to get paid thirty dollars an hour um, no. for the part time. Not not here and in Canada. Not here in Canada. Maybe in Australia, but no. You that's know. for skilled. That's for skilled credit. If you're in Australia and you weren't skilled, the the most you could get would be uh well 20 and then 25 if it's casual so if we change okay. that if we change that to 20 so 20 times 16 so you'd be getting 320 a week and then you've got a minus taxes and all of that and as you said you've got no time to scratch yourself there you go you you don't have any time to scratch yourself you're i mean you're basically a working fool you'll be dead by the time you're 40 you know because you just don't and have any time just off. wouldn't that just take you to a higher tax bracket yeah, it can. Yeah. So it can bump you into the higher tax bracket and all of that. Right so, off. Okay. Yeah. So now for all of you that are listening to this as a recording, for all of you that are on the call, all of you that are listening to this on, on uh, Facebook, share this with people because here's where it starts to make sense. You can go get that ridiculous job working, you know, seven days a week and, 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 and killing yourself, dying early or, you can think about what I'm going to talk about and see if this makes sense to you. So if it makes sense to you, don't you think that it's going to make sense to three of your friends? Renny, answer yes or no. Yes. It, you bet it will. I mean, you've got to have three friends that, that, that think somewhat like you. So if it doesn't make sense to you, thanks for being on the call. Thanks for listening to the recording. Goodbye. And if, if, if it makes sense to you, then Think about sharing it with, with friends until you find three people who it makes sense to. And you're going to actually want to find more than three friends that it makes sense to because you're going to have to find three friends that are actually going to go out and do it. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and what they're going to do is they're going to go find three and then they're going to, they're, they're going to do it. And then they're going to go find three. They're going to do that. And what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to do this four levels deep. So three who find three who find three who find three, right? And so total you've got, you've got, 39 people in your organization, that's including you, whether you call that a pyramid or a Ponzi scheme or whatever you want to call it, I really don't care. But you're finding three people who this makes sense with. 
And what you're doing is then you're saying, okay, so we're working in the, in the healthcare industry. We're helping people stay healthier. We're using products that are based on science, mm -hmm. whether you like skincare or you like CBD or you like, um, you know, weight loss, or you like just general nutrition, you like being healthy, you want to do anti-aging. We've got all the categories. We've got products in all of those categories, every single one of them. You pick your favorite, okay? And, and, and you come in, and we have what's called a wealth builder pack, but it's the starter pack. It's where I tell people, if you're doing this as a business, you don't want to do anything else. You want to come in with a wealth builder pack period, bottom, end of line on that. So you, you buy a wealth of the pack and then every month you commit to buying 300 PV worth of, worth of products, which is roughly going to be, you know, with shipping tax and everything like that, it's going to be about $500 a month, right? I mean, I'm estimating a little bit high for people in Australia and, 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 and maybe a little bit low for people here in the United States. But let's just say that you committed to spending at least $500 a month and you find three people who are going to do exactly the same thing. And so your, your startup cost for starting your business was, you know, that $500, your, your monthly cost, your overhead is uh, less than that $500 a month. And now you got a business, you got a legit business. You're dealing in the healthcare industry. You're helping people get healthier. You help people lose weight. You help people look better. Um, you're helping them change pro to products that are natural and, and, and good for them. And you're building a business based on that. If you go out and find those 39 people, and you don't have to find all of them yourself. You find three, like, you know, Katie's in my business. Katie went out and found three people. Those three people went out and found three people. Those people went out and found three people. Rennie's in, in, in another leg. She's another one of my, my three people. She's over here on the side of Katie. So she goes out and finds three people who find three people who find three people, right? And then I have one more person that does exactly the same thing. And they go out and do the exact same thing. So I have three people who found three people who, four levels deep. And what ends up happening is I come home with enough money to buy my products and I have enough money that I get that I have a thousand dollars that I can put in the bank. I'm mm -hmm. telling you what, for most people, and we talked about this last week, what would you do if you had an extra thousand dollars a month over and above what you already earn at your full time job? And 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 how much time do you have to put in? I mean, really, honestly, Randy, how much time do you have to put in to go out and find, you know, to talk to one person per day? And then this is what I tell people. Talk to mm -hmm. one new person a day. How, how, many, how many minutes a day do you have to work? Well, I think you could, you could make a point of doing that, even if you had to drag it out to an hour a day. And what's an hour a day? If you're on Facebook and doing a few things and sharing testimonies and this sort of thing, it's the same as reaching, it's, you're reaching out to people. If you did that for an hour a day. Yeah. So you're saying, you know, you're doing your social media, you're, but you know, if you had to talk to one person a day and, and, and typically, you know, 19 out of 20 people want to tell you no right away, Randy, did you know that statistically mm -hmm. 19 out of 20 mm -hmm. people want to tell you no. So how long does it take you to get a no out of somebody? Well, you could do it in half an hour. Wow. You're spending way too much time trying to get that. No, <laughs> you and I need to talk. We need to come up with a way. I mean, it should take you five minutes to, to get to the no. Uh, there should yeah, be. Yeah, if you want to do that, you know, if you go through, uh, if you want to talk to rapid fire prospecting, new, new person might be actually easier, I think, than warm market. Don't you agree? Brent? Like, yeah, you, do, you don't want you don't want to prospect people until you get them into your warm market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but what I'm saying is, is once you start talking about people, like if I go to the grocery store, when I get off this call and I start talking to somebody within five minutes, I know if they're interested or are non interested. I mean, I, I'll ask yeah, the right yeah. question. That's true. You know, you, you know what the one question I ask them right away? What is it? <laughs> I could say the question something. I ask them, right? Do you know anybody that might be interested in making extra money? Yeah, yeah, you always take it to the next person. You don't act them direct because then they might say, well, what about me? That's right. So that's the question you asked. How long did it take me to ask you that? Yeah. Two and seconds. then from there, from there, from then from there, now they're a prospect. Now what you're going to yeah. do is you're going to say, hey, I don't have enough time to talk to you right now. We're in the fruit aisle of the grocery store. But um, what's a good number that I could text you at? 
They don't want to give you your number so you can call them, but they'll give you a number to text you at. And you say, what's a good number that I could get a hold of you so I could text you and I'll send you some information so you could take a look at what I'm doing. And again, 19 out of 20 people want to tell you no. They might say yes, and they give you a, a fake phone number or whatever. Hey, that just means they're part of the 19. I don't get all bent out of shape on it, Randy. Yeah. I've, had a, I've, I've, I've had a lot more girls turn me down on dates than that. <laughs> right? So... <laughs> Anyhow, um, so folks, that's kind of what I talk about. You can, you can do this. I know you can do this and you got to go out and find three people. You can build a business. Katie, you did some math on this. If you build, if you build three businesses, now I know you looked at, at what if you built two, but I don't want to find any minimizers. I want to find people that, that, that are maximizer going, Hey, how can I make sure that I don't lose any money? Right. And, and, and you get all your bonuses if you're a three-star. So you build three legs. You know, isn't it pretty much endless how much money you could make with three legs? Woo-hoo, Katie. <laughs> Katie, did you mute yourself out? Let me see. Did she get kicked off? No, she's still there. Oh, sorry. I was talking and I was muted. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you, so, you can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's right. So I've looked at the, the comp plan and, you know, you first you start with your first builder, business builder, and then you move on to your two. Now, even when you move on to your two, you're still getting paid down at seven levels deep. Three is ideal because it helps to balance it off and pays out some of the other profit centers. But uh, yeah, and you can just start there, Kurt. And it's about, you know, starting small and then building on it, you know, if we kind of think too big, then we go, well, that's too hard and just quit. So we don't want to do that. We want to just start small. So, you know, even start, you know, with your first customer, with your first distributor and thinking about that. And so that leads me into the next part of the call, Kurt, which is talking about the weight loss. Let's talk about weight loss. I, I'm, I've been using the sizzle weight loss plan. Last year, I lost 50 pounds. I, I kind of put it on hold at the end of the summer from about September till, uh, till the new year. And I gained back about 10. I've lost seven of that 10 already since, uh, since the second of January, actually since the third of January. So in 11 days, I've lost seven pounds using this program. Fantastic. Great. And which is your favorite? So we've got some great, a great pack now available. And so I wanted to talk about that. So it's 163, uh, us for the pack uh, for a distributor and 185 for a preferred customer so we've got a bunch of great products in that you get the sizzle thin you get the sizzle sport the sizzle lean you get the balance d and the super detox and so i just want to go through those briefly and talk about how they can how people can use those and also it's not just about weight loss i really want to tie in immune system here kurt because i don't know what's going on there in america but it's you know pretty out of control here in Australia still with everything with the old, old um, C, the big, the big C code. And I won't say the word so our, our, our video doesn't get muted out, but uh, <laughs> ends with a vid. Um, so, so yeah, the, these products, not only for weight loss, Kurt, for immune system, can you just lead into the conversation here, how weight's related to immune health? You bet. You bet. Well, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things that happen when you're, when you're overweight. I mean, normally what happens is, is that there's your, your digestion is screwed up. There's inflammation in the gut. There's leaky gut. You're letting toxins in all these different things. Um, you start to have a low self-esteem, which, which affects your, your serotonin levels. It makes you so you have more hunger. Um, on top of that, what ends up happening, and I'm just talking from experience. I mean, this is, I'm just talking about yeah. me. And, and so what ends up happening is you don't feel like exercising as much because it hurts. It hurts to go for a walk. It, mm -hmm. it, it hurts to, to jump up and down. I mean, these things, they hurt because you are, you have that extra fat on you and, and, and it really, it really makes it so it's, it's disastrous. And so it destroys your joints, your knees, your back, your neck, everything. And then, um, and then on top of that, you know, that extra fat, it's hard for blood to circulate through fat. So then all of a sudden you start to have circulatory problems and, and, uh, and, and then your heart has to work harder. So now all of a sudden you get cardiovascular uh, failure. You have, uh, you have congestive heart failure um, as a result of it. But not only that, <clears throat> there's, uh, 
there's some things that happen in that fat cells that it involves it involves a, an enzyme called, called aromatase and what that actually does is it can it can trigger cancer so you're higher risk for uh, certain types of cancer um all because you had to have that extra piece of pie every day right exactly and so this is the perfect time of year now if you've put on those extra pounds or if it's something you've been thinking about for a while is to get stuck into the weight loss pack and become a product of the product. Use yourself as an example. And then once you've actually got some results for yourself, it's a lot easier. But I mean, you don't, you could just share it with someone straight off too, because people are so keen to get themselves back on track for the new year. So we've got some great products in the pack. We've got the Sizzle Lean. Now I know you love that product, Kurt, and you can use that as a meal replacement. How do you like to have that? The sizzling, uh, typically what I like to do with it is I'll, I'll throw, I, I throw some skim milk in with it. I, I, I like to make it into kind of a vanilla smoothie almost. I'll throw some fruit in there and I like the vanilla. I don't buy the chocolate. I like the vanilla. Um, and uh, yeah, I, ma I make a smoothie with it. That's how I do it. Oh, fantastic. And the thing I love about that product is if you really truly follow the instructions on the packet, and do exactly what it says, which is to replace one meal with a sizzle lean shake is that, you know, you would lose weight because you're reducing your overall calorie intake. Assuming you don't eat more at the other meals than you normally do, you would drop your calorie intake by substituting that as a meal. And so if you're burning, you know, if you're burning, if you're eating less calories than you're burning, then you're going to lose weight. So this is a really, really great product. And as you said, it tastes fantastic. Coupled with that product, we've got another two great products there, which absolutely love uh, the Balance D, take that every day, and the Super Detox. So that's for giving yourself a cleanse. The Super Detox helps to remove that mucoid plaque and get that backlog because, you know, a lot of people uh, suffer constipation. They're not uh, eating enough fiber. They're not drinking enough water. And their bowels just aren't moving like they should be. And if your bowels aren't moving, you're going to struggle to lose weight, right, Kurt? That's right. That's right. Yep. What, what, Randy, how many pounds of, 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 of mucoidal plaque did they say that Elvis had? Well, I think it was 80 pounds, wasn't it? Close yeah. to 80 pounds. Yeah. That, wow. Well, that would almost be an impacted bowel. So you certainly don't want to do an Elvis Presley there. But, you know, using these sort of products and the Super Detox, you know, people can use that product, you know, every couple months, you reckon, Kurt, or even more? Yeah, I mean, you can you can actually do it more than that. But if you do it every couple months, just to kind of cleanse things out, um, you're doing really good. And then once you once you've you've done that, you know, every couple months for a year, uh, then I would say twice a year, you know, just like getting your oil change on your car, you know, just get on a regular maintenance schedule and, and you'll be all right. Yeah, fantastic. So that super detox is going to help clean out that black log, get the bowels moving again. That's a four day cleanse. <laughs> And then you've got the balance D. So you're bringing back in those pre and probiotics, which are absolutely critical for gut health. You know, we use those um, probiotics for digestion as well. It's involved in breaking down certain vitamins and stuff too. So this is really important. It's, we've got a bit of fiber in there and we've got some vitamin D in there. So balance D is an excellent product. Uh, and it's something that you can take every day to help balance your gut bacteria. And we lose our gut bacteria from things like antibiotics, you know, poor diets, uh, toxins coming in, alcohol, all sorts of things. So we want to keep that balanced and that's going to help us with our weight loss. So we're going to keep the gut right there. And then we've got the other two products which go really well together, which is the Sizzle Thin and the Sizzle Sport. So the Sizzle Sport is a energy, how would you describe that? I would say it was like an energy weight loss drink. Is that how you would describe it, Kurt? You know, I don't really use it as an energy drink. I, do, I, I take mine right away in the morning and sometimes I'll do it at noon as well. But, um, you know, I use it because I find that it, it mentally keeps me focused. Right. And, and you know, Renny, I see you nodding your head. Mental yeah. focus is important, isn't it, these days? Because there's so oh. many distractions yeah. out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I like that product. Like I, I've tried, I've put things off. Like so, so with some paperwork I needed to do and, Oh, I could find a thousand things to do before I did that. I took that drink and I tell you what, I sat down at my computer and I didn't look up until it was done. I was amazed at the focus. Wow. There you go. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes yep, that so, is so don't, don't just think of it as a weight loss product, Katie. It's, I mean, it's a lot more than that. 
but okay, yeah. great. And Sorry. and really, so are all these products, Kurt, these aren't just all these products can stand alone by themselves. They're not just weight loss products. They have so many benefits. And then the the, the last one in that pack we've got is the Sizzle Thin, and so this really helps to helps the body to burn that extra fat. What are the main benefits you get out of that product, Doctor Kurt? Well, I find. Um, you know, I take it, I take it in right away in the morning with my sizzle thin, uh, or I mean with the, with the, with the, um, um, the, the sport, the sizzle sport, mm -hmm. but it helps me to control that hunger. Um, it makes it so that I'm not hunger, hungry all day. Um, but it also gets rid of a lot of my food cravings. I find that, you know, like I'll get up and I'll go, oh, what do I want to have for lunch today? And, you know, and, 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 you know, you might find it kind of boring because I just, I, it's like, well, whatever, I'll just now uh, look in the fridge and it's like, uh, what's in there. And, you know, because I just don't have any food cravings anymore. Uh, friends will ask us, Hey, where do you want to go for lunch? And I'm like, I don't know. Doesn't matter. And, and, yeah. and sizzle thin has really done that, but it, it also, it throws me into ketosis mm -hmm. and, and, and as long as I follow a ketogenic lifestyle, which means that you're, you're, you've, you've got the right balance of foods uh, based on that. And it's not right for everybody, but you know, for me, a, a more keto lifestyle, uh, the, the, the uh, sizzle thin tends to push your body into that, into that ketogenesis, mm -hmm. which yeah, is fat, fat burning. Fat burning. Excellent. And so part of that pack too, I see we've got some calipers there. Is that, that comes as part of the pack too? You bet. Well, and, and, and you know, here's the deal. How, how do you know, how much weight you got to lose? How do you know where you're going if you don't know where you're starting? And so the calipers, they, they help measure that amount of fat. Um, actually, mine just showed up today. I haven't even opened up the box yet. And, and so I want to see how fat I really am. Yeah, right. So you can use those calipers and this can be an alternative to stepping on the scale. So you might do uh, use and pinch the fat on your stomach. Now, bearing in mind that when you do lose weight, you can lose body fat in different places faster than others. Like for me, Dr. Kurt, I have basically no fat on my back, but, you know, would have it on my thighs. So everybody's different. Somebody might have it on their tummy, but they might have thin legs. So wherever it is, you pick the point um, to measure and be consistent. So you want a baseline and then you want to be consistent. So you might want to pick, you know, three pinch points. Even if you pinch, even if you do one, that's okay too. But if you do three, how are you going to do yours, Kurt? Are you just going to pinch the belly fat and measure that? I don't know. Are you telling me, are you trying to hint at something that I'm fat around the belly? No, it's just a standard place. People go for body fat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just teasing so, you. I'm just yeah, teasing you. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's, one, that's one spot. That's one spot. I got fat everywhere. I can measure it here. I can measure it here. Here. Well, let's, let's keep it simple. We'll keep it simple for everyone. Let's just say around the tummy because people always go by their belt size, right? So they, they kind of go, have I gained weight or lost weight? Is my pant belt tighter or looser? And that's a really good in, uh, indicator. And the circumference of your waist is important in terms of your body mass index and your overall health. So say, you know, to keep it simple, you could use those calipers just um, with measuring the body fat. And then that gives you an indication. The great thing about doing that, Kurt, what I love is that you're not um, being influenced by the weight on the scales because your weight on the scales could go up and down, you know, a kilo, depending on how much fluid you've got, how much food you've got in your bowel, what clothes you're wearing. So you're never going to get a true indication. The calipers is going to give you the real true indication of actual fat loss. Um, and that's what we want. We want the fat loss. We want to keep our muscle. We want to keep... Um, you know, pre preserve, we don't want to lose, you know, too much fluid unless we've got excess. We want that fat to go. So those is a, that's great in the pack. And so it's a really good special, I think, Kurt, what do you think? It's a 185 for a preferred customer and 163 for a distributor for that pack. You bet. Yeah. Typically, um, aren't they given like a 15 to 20% discount when they throw these different monthly uh, special packs together? So, you know, if you're thinking about doing weight loss and you've got other products that you like to order month after month after month, like I do, um, you know, order a couple of the packs. That way you've got, you've got some products for next month and, and why not have a discount? Why not save some money? Yeah, absolutely. So that's it. So that's the pack there. Um, you know, highly recommend that. As I said, you know, focusing on not only weight loss, especially in Australia now for people for immune health, 
you know, think about your immune health at the moment and what you can do to support it from a weight perspective too. So I just think that's a well-rounded pack. We've got a great special this month. And um, yeah, that's what I wanted to cover for today, Kurt. You bet. So, you know, talking about the immune system, you know, I'm going to throw this out there and maybe this is what you wanted me to talk about earlier. You know, they have shown that with, you know, and I won't mention the C word either. It's not, it's not cancer. It's another C word. It ends, like Katie said, it ends in vid. And, <laughs> uh, and, and, and this particular uh, C vid um, uh, problem, it seems to affect those people that are overweight. It yeah. seems like if, if you're overweight, you're going to have a tougher time. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I remember two years ago when this first started, I got back from Australia that year back in 2020. And my son, who was a medical doctor, he called me up and he said, dad, he said, you're high risk. He said, you know, he said, if you get a chance there, you're going to die. And I'm like, holy crap, you know, that's kind of straightforward, you know, poking me in the chest type of thing. I mean, he's basically saying, dad, you're fat, hey, you know, and, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, you know, that's what got me really started on the weight loss when I, when I got started to it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Powerful, powerful. So you great. All right. Well, well Syl Sylvia was asking, you know, as far as diverticulitis and, and, and uh, can you use this on postmenopausal women? You bet you can use it on postmenopausal women. You know, that that's a, it's a hormonal type problem, um, you know, and we, we just got to kind of adjust the, 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 the diet a little bit. Uh, you can, you can email me, Dr. Fisnick at gmail.com or docfiz at me.com. And I'll have to put together a diet. I'll help coach you along. And as, as far as diverticulitis, you know, diverticulitis is when the little small folds in the small intestine, they get inflamed. Typically what happens is, is that, um, there's, there's a few things going on. Uh, but, uh, but that needs, you know, like some, maybe, you know, um, uh, enzymes and, 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 uh, and, and the Fucoid to get rid of the inflammation and things like that. But we can talk about that as well. Yeah. And, 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 uh, and, uh, just kind of get that immune system working. Cause like when my dad had diverticulitis, that was his main thing is that, that some of the food would get caught in those folds in the small intestine. And all of a sudden he got this inflammation and then that would lead to an immune system problem. So, um, Sylvia, if you want to just get a hold of me, I can help you out with that. Okay, great. All right. Thanks, Kurt. Thanks, Rennie. Great thanks call. everyone. Thank you. Rennie, Katie, thanks for being on every week. And, and folks, we do this every week, um, every Friday night here in the United States, Saturday morning down in Australia. And the goal is, is that we're going to give you some information. We, we don't present it. This isn't rehearsed. We, and neither, none of the three of us have talked about this um, at all. Um, you know, before we got onto the call, hang on one second. I'm just going to type my, my email address in here for uh, Sylvia. Um, Anyhow, you know, we have talked about this. So, so every week it's completely different. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping that, that, that maybe we'll say it in a way, um, we'll say it in a way that, uh, that, 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 uh, um, that, that uh, one time it'll make sense to you. Yes. Maybe today it didn't make sense, yeah. but maybe next week it does. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Fantastic. All right, great. One more time, I got to put this my email in there. I, it went just to the panelists. So, okay. All right, folks, thanks for being with us. And we'll be back next week. Randy, thanks for being here. Katie, um, thanks for being here. And everybody, have a great weekend. Be safe, stay healthy, and uh, and it's let's let's out. go out there. Yeah, let's go out there and let's let's uh, you know let's build a fire with us and let's go out and find uh, people who really want to make that extra thousand dollars a month. And, and, and that's where it starts. I mean, if you're making a thousand and you're helping 10 other people make a thousand, you're not going to be making a thousand anymore. Now yeah. your income is going to be somewhere between five to 10,000 because you have 10,000 people or you help 10 people, you know, and, mm. and, and that's really, isn't that where it's at, Randy is helping other people do the exact same thing. It's Absolutely. building one. It's the building block of our comp plan. You notice I didn't even have to talk about the rest of our comp plan. You don't have to know it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, have a great day. Great weekend. Bye-bye.